Hello beauties, it's me Jaja and you're watching Jaja Live. Today is going to be a product review video on some products that I picked up from a company that was new to me and the company is called Hot Makeup. And I talked about this company, or I mentioned them in my haul video. And if you haven't checked out my big old makeup haul video, make sure you check that out. I'll leave a link below. So this particular company, I really kind of stumbled upon. Um, I was doing a Google search, and I forget exactly what I was searching in the Google search. But um, somehow this hot makeup company came up in the search engine and I happened to see this really pretty rose gold packaging and this is just the box you guys this is just the boxes that the products came in so after I saw the packaging and everything I was all excited so I clicked on the website and then I kind of did a little research on the company and I have a few notes here so if I'm looking down I'm kind of glancing at the notes on their website but um the company was founded in 2010 uh, by Francini Franco, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and um, it says that the brand is the preferred choice of makeup artists in film, TV, and theater all over Brazil. The headquarters is in Los Angeles, California. So I did purchase three products from the HotMakeup.com website, and uh, I purchased their uh, Pores Away Pore Vanishing Cream, and this is the box for that. I purchased their Touch Me Up Pressed Powder, and then I also purchased their Fashion Fixation Lipstick. So I'm going to start with this Pores Away. I'm going to read you their description on the website. Um, it says, Pores Away Vanishing Cream will diminish the appearance of pores while soothing the complexion for effortless makeup application that will stay flawless throughout the day. Oil-free formula will not clog pores. Vitamin E derivatives will keep you feeling hydrated. Good for all skin types. And they also mentioned that this product is vegan as well. And it retails for $19. So here is the packaging that the Pores Away comes in. And it has their little logo on the very top there. And I found this product goes on very smooth, very silky. Um, it doesn't leave any kind of residue on the skin. And I'm actually going to show you a clip here uh, that shows me applying this product. So I noticed when I first tried this product, I was, you know, putting it on my skin. And I noticed, like, almost instantly, it kind of zapped up all of the oil that I had on my skin. And it left this really pretty, smooth, matte finish. Um, and just like it says, the pores were definitely diminished, which you will see in the clip that I'm going to show you. this um, under my makeup for about a week and a half or so and I'm really impressed with this product. The other thing I like about it is it does not have a strong scent to it. Like it doesn't really have a scent at all to be honest. So next up let's go ahead and move on to the Hot Makeup Touch Me Up Pressed Powder. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's that same rose gold finish and it's got the H logo on the front for hot makeup. 
and then it just opens like so and it's got a little mirror here and then it's got the product here and the color that I got is TU25 and then underneath the actual powder it comes with a little powder puff so I'm going to go ahead and read the description that's on the Hot Makeup website for the Touch Me Up powder and it says specifically formulated kaolin and mica blend perfect for filling lines and disguising pores while preventing shine without drying your skin and clogging your pores comes with a disposable application sponge and this product retails for $31. Usually I've been applying it um, over my concealer underneath my eyes and it does help a little bit um, as far as the creasing. I don't see anything amazing. When I applied it right to the areas here where I have um, my pores are visible or more visible. When I apply it in those places it definitely kind of adds um, like an airbrushed look to the skin which is beautiful and the powder is very very weightless and as far as preventing shine I would not say that this product prevents shine uh, because when I apply it um, at the beginning of the day um, my face still ends up you know getting shiny you can apply this uh, powder and then it's gonna get rid of the shine but it definitely does not prevent shine on my skin and my skin is um, combination oily so this product doesn't really have a smell to it either so now I'm going to show you a clip of how this powder performs on my skin that I purchased from Hot Makeup is this Fashion Fixation Lipstick and I believe they have two um, lines of lipsticks on the website and this is just the one that I picked up and I got the color Miss Popular and it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So the lipstick packaging for their fashion fixation lipstick comes in a tube like this and it's just a really shiny pretty rose gold lipstick tube and the lid comes off so here you have the lipstick and again this color is Miss Popular on camera it appears to be showing up a little more pink it's definitely not pink. I would say Miss Popular is like a taupe color and it has a dash of um, rose in it. So if you could imagine taupe with a tiny bit of rose, that's what I would say uh, Miss Popular is. This lipstick I am so in love with. I absolutely love this lipstick. I would say this is probably out of all of the formulas that I have lipstick wise in my collection this is definitely one of my favorites and this is one of my favorites because this lipstick has so much pigmentation to it but yet it is so creamy it feels like buttery caviar like if they made caviar in a butter form <laughs> That's what this lipstick is like, if you can imagine that. It is so soft, so moisturizing, so pigmented. Um, it feels like you're getting a lip treatment when you wear this. I really love this lipstick. That kind of brings me to one tiny little con, though, that I have about this lipstick. As much as I love it, and this con is certainly a con that would not deter me from purchasing this lipstick again, but because the lipstick is so buttery when you're applying it to your lips it does melt some 
the warmth, I guess the warmth of your lips kind of melts the product some. But it's not, you know, melting all over this, the tube or anything. But I can tell that I'm going to go through this lipstick a little bit sooner than I would um, a lipstick that had a little bit more of a solid um, consistency. But would I sacrifice having a more solid consistency for having a less moisturizing lipstick? Absolutely not. So that's why I say it's kind of a con, but that con is kind of why I like the lipstick. So I guess it's kind of a trade-off. But um, this is definitely a lipstick that I could see myself wearing a lot. Uh, that would be the other reason that I'd be using the tube up fairly quickly. So I'm gonna go to a clip now of me applying the lipstick just so you can kind of get an idea of the formula, how it goes on. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see the pigmentation that it has straight out of the tube. a long wearing lipstick if you were not eating or drinking or doing anything else with your mouth besides maybe talking all day long or something um, you might get several hours of wear out of this lipstick but definitely when you go to drink something you definitely get transfer you're definitely gonna have to reapply which is kind of common for any more moisturizing lip Product. So another point that I wanted to make um, about the Hot Makeup website, when you go onto the website to place your order and you get to the checkout page, you'll see that they accept, um, I think, all major credit cards, and then they also accept PayPal. I don't like to give out my credit card information online, so the fact that they offer PayPal as an option is a big deal for me, which is how I paid for my order. Also, it's quick and easy, and you guys already know about PayPal, but I thought I'd mention so that. Overall, I'm really impressed with the hot makeup products. I love the products that I purchased, and I certainly look forward to trying out some of their other products as well. All right, beauties, that's it for my review of the three hot makeup products that I purchased on the hotmakeup.com website. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you've ever tried hot makeup products, leave a comment below and let me know what products that you purchased, and let me know what products you liked or you might be interested in, and also, if you enjoyed this video, Video, be sure you give it a thumbs up and as always if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for go ahead and press that subscribe button <laughs> I'm Jaja and this has been Jaja live and I hope to see you again in the next video bye beauties